Hello, 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 hello. Y'all probably didn't expect to see me this soon, did you? I just got home from work. And <laughs> that's why I'm still dressed. But I just decided to record this because um, I got a package from a friend, a very dear friend, back on the East Coast. That's right, back home to the first state. Do you guys know what the first state is? Think, and don't Google it. <laughs> Look, I'm acting like we live. You don't know your history. The first state is Delaware. Delaware? Delaware? I'm talking about, that's what they say. I don't know how true that is. Isn't that true, Dad? He gonna be like, Shine, you don't know your history? Nope. <laughs> anyway, I have a very special friend that I met um, years ago um, when I was in my 20s. Her name is Mary Lou. And I met Mary Lou when we, uh, how do I meet Mary? Oh, yeah. So, you know, again, in my 20s, I was very irresponsible and <laughs> <laughs> like most 20 year olds or whatever. And I basically was horrible at managing money. I could not afford real apartments. So I remember I had to find somewhere to live and quick or else it was back to my parents. And I am a person that has a lot of pride, which is not always good. And I was just like determined to make it. So I started this back in the day when people looked in the ads at a newspaper and I was just like, okay, let me see what's out there. And it was like, roommates want it. Hmm, okay. So I saw this ad and it said, you know, um, they had one bedroom. The rent was like, Mary, what was that rent that I paid, Lisa? I think my rent was like $100 even. And basically it was another friend of mine who I haven't seen in years basically she had a house and I think it was from a divorce and so what she decided to do was rent out the bedrooms right and make sure that she could pay the mortgage and so there was you know she had a basement and it had its own entrance and I decided to go there but on the way there that night it was raining and I was so desperate and I could not find the place because, again, this is a time before smartphones. And um, matter of fact, everybody didn't even have a computer in their house. So if y'all was just like, Shine, you could have just printed it out on MapQuest. No, I could not. You know what I'm saying? I had heard of the internet, but nevertheless. So basically, what I had to do was like call the number, get the directions, write them down, and then try to find my way. And it was dark and it was rainy. And I kept circling around this area. I was right in the vicinity of the location of the house and I could not find it. And <laughs> I kept calling. And I was just like, I can't find it. And the woman who owned the house, Lisa, she was like trying to give me directions. Well, after like, I don't know, 15 minutes, because what I was trying to do was go over there and they were going to interview me. They were going to interview me to see if I was like, you know, a crazy person or somebody who they would like to, you know, rent the room out to. So anyway, nevertheless, I finally called back and I was crying. And Mary Lou takes the phone from Lisa because Mary Lou was the oldest one in the house. I mean, she's not, she's not old. She wasn't old then. And she but she was like the mother hen, which I came to learn. And she was just like, honey, where are you? And I had told her, crying, I said, um, I can't find it. Don't worry about it. I, I'm just calling y'all because I'm not going to come and boo-hoo. And Mary Lou heard my little voice and she said, no, and Mary, if you're watching this, I think Mary, I think, I think they had to get in their car. Basically, I was right around the corner, but I wasn't really familiar with that area, that subdivision. It was like, it'll turn you around if you don't know what you're doing. So nevertheless, um, how the story ends is that I went back, followed them back to the house, and <laughs> um, 
Lisa, the homeowner, and then Mary Lou, who happened to be renting a room from her, they interviewed me and <laughs> and I got the room. And um, Mary Lou, I did not come out of my room for almost a week. I would just go to work and then come home because it was strange to be renting a room, you know? And so um, I remember they would have house parties. And when I say house parties, like Mary Lou is like, when I say house party, I don't mean like the movie house party getting down. I mean like Mary Lou break out the doilies and she could cook. <laughs> you know, she's serving appetizers, little meatballs, Swedish meatballs with toothpicks and taco dip and all kinds of little, you know, goodies. And she was just a great hostess. And... I never came up the steps because I remember sh she came down the steps in the basement was just like, you can come upstairs because I didn't know how to interact with these people. They weren't my friends. But Mary Lou, after the party, what she did was she made this taco dip, which she taught me how to make. And she saved half of a pan for me. She didn't know what I liked. And she was just like, honey, I, I left you some taco dip or whatever. And I remember... Um, after the party was over, it might've been the next morning or whatever, but nevertheless, I tried it and I was hooked and little by little, I started coming out of my room and Mary Lou was this person that always, she just always had my back. I don't know why this lady took a liking to me. We had people coming in and out as far as roommates, you know? Mary, I don't know what it was. She took a liking to this person, this little, you know, this young black woman, Mary Lou, was just like, yup, I don't know why she liked me. She um, basically, Mary Lou, I didn't even know, I forgot why Mary Lou was living in, because she owned her own home. I think she was renting her own home. I don't know what the case was, but down the line, eventually I left that house and I moved in with I don't know maybe one of my ex-boyfriends or whatever and then I got my own place but <laughs> I said I was irresponsible then I got evicted from my first apartment while I was in college and working full-time I was just so horrible and I had to go and live with another ex-boyfriend who was mean to me and he was in the next state over okay I, I'm I'm getting to the point <laughs> so uh Mary Lou I don't know how she heard about this. I don't know how she knew that I was living with this jerk, you know. And um, <laughs> out of nowhere, Mary Lou drove from Delaware to Maryland. I was in a town called Elton, Maryland. And she barged up in that house. Now, you know, y'all can obviously see that I'm black, right? <laughs> And the house that she, you know, I mean, my, my ex, the guy that I moved in, the other guy I moved in, he, he was, you know, this is a black family. I don't know how Mary found that house. She drove all the way to Elton and walked up in that house with some black trash bags and came. She was like, where's your room? And I was like, right here. And Mary Lou was just like, mm -mm, we don't have time to fold all of that. She started throwing stuff in the bag. She said, we can sort this out. We're going to get you moved out of here. And literally, she was just like, you can live with me. She charged me $150, but I had access to the house. You know, um, she made sure that I got to and from work. And then she showed me some tough love because she was just like, look, I can't drive you to work every night because I work night shift. And, you know... Mary knows I'm sensitive and I thought she was being mean and she gave me a time period like you're going to save your money and you're going to buy a car yup she gave me a time period to save money to get a car it didn't have to be new she showed me that tough love every time I got stung by a bee and I never knew that I was allergic like life threatening allergic to bee stings and every time I had to end up in the hospital Mary Lou was right there she get on the phone she called my father because my father was, you know, further away from where we were at. Mary always, like, I think I lived with Mary two different times in her own house. And she, I want it for nothing. I want it for nothing. She knew that I worked hard. A lot of times I didn't want to reach out to my dad because I wanted to prove, like, I can make it out here. But Mary knew she always supported me in everything that I did. When I was going to art college, 
Mary saw that I had an interest in art. So she was always trying to introduce me to certain, you know, like things, culture, whatever. She's a big history fan or whatever. This woman got me to watch. Basically, it's because of Mary that I started liking Westerns. Because I never forget the first time when she was just like, why don't you sit down and watch Lonesome Dove with me? I was like, what? Nobody watching that. Are you crazy? I don't even like Westerns. <laughs> Man, I sat on that couch and I'm boohooing and snotting all over the place with Mary Lou. Lonesome Dove. Yes, indeed. Oh, Mary. Yeah, I don't know why. When I moved to Texas, there were times that I was struggling, you know, um, financially. And again, I didn't want to go to my parents. <laughs> And I would say, Mary, I, you know, can you spot me? And she, she was still like, say, okay. And she sent me a little money. She knew I'd pay it back. And um, ever since I've lived here, I've been here this November coming up of 2022 will mark my 20th year living here in Texas. Do y'all know this lady? I mean, she has children of her own. They're there in Delaware with her. I don't know what it was, but she took a liking to me and she never let me go. She never let me go. And this is what she sends me every year. Yep, she sends me a care package. I have gotten a care package from Mary every year since I've lived here in Texas. Every year. She, yep every year. I wanted to share that story with y'all because I think it's important for people to understand that it does not matter. When I hear people um, that are so hooked on race, you hear people, and I, I know this might be getting a little bit serious, and I normally don't do this on my channel, but I think it's important for people to hear stories like this because a lot of times people will focus, especially in this country, we'll focus on racial divide and or you'll hear people say it's better to stick with your own kind, you know, and um, I don't think there's one race that has not heard that in their household. Don't be don't be embarrassed if y'all heard it. Don't sit there and lie like you ain't never heard somebody in your family or somebody close to you and say it's just better to stick with your own, you know. And people have this misconception that if you stick with your own, that everything is going to be okay. Now, where I'm going with this is that when people say, you can't trust another race, that's not true. This lady, to this day, I still wonder, like, and I, I've said it to her, I'm like, Mary, I don't, I don't know what you, what you saw in me that you never let me go. I mean, I'm, I know probably some things might have been said to Mary by her ex-boyfriends. Um, you know, I don't know, possibly, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe her mom, I'm not really sure. But I know that people probably was just like, why are you, why are you taking a liking to this, you know, this black girl? You know, and I mean, that's the reality of it, you know. And even her children, Dominic and Michelle, which... I love them to death. I am older than both of her children. And I, they used to make jokes. It's like, mom just, I mean, she just love you just as much as she love us. Like, it started looking like I was one of their, one of her children. And I don't care what color you are. And you shouldn't care what color someone else is when you are receiving genuine concern and love. Because let me tell you something, when God designed us and he designed, I mean, he is love. He doesn't care what the package, how love is wrapped. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Love can be wrapped up in many packages. It can be some pretty shiny wrapping paper. It can be a paper bag. It can be plastic. But you know what? When you unwrap it, if it's love, it's love. It doesn't say, well, you're only going to get this quality of love because it was wrapped in cellophane. You're only going to get this quality. Love. If it's love, it's love. And that's how I look at Mary. It doesn't matter. 
It does not matter because that lady has been there for me. I mean, when I, she understood, yes, my dad was in the same state, but it was like, I don't know what it was. I don't know if she got it like in her head, you know, like this, this at that time, you know, I was young. I was in my early twenties when I met her, you know, and she just, yeah, it's like she was, it was almost like she sent out a message to my dad or to the universe like, hey, yeah, I know your kid is out here or she's a young lady, but, you know, I, I'm going to, you know, help look after her. I don't, I don't know. You know, and my dad has, he is, he has met Mary on two different occasions and he is always, you know, I mean, when he was in her presence, he, he would thank her, like, thanks, you know, for... You know, because when a child leaves home, I don't care whether they're a young adult or not, a parent never stops worrying. And Mary just, man, I I can't find the words. So I just wanted to share that story because, man, when when somebody loves you, don't let other people get in your ear and, and put this notion about, you know, well, yeah, that's nice, but because they're of a different religion or a different race, that they have some ulterior motive because that's not the case. And I understand, don't don't get me wrong, because, you know, I, hey, we all experience some type of situation involving a different race, and it may not have been a pleasant one, but you have to be strong enough to know that maybe that one bad apple does not make the rest of the barrel bad. Do you understand what I mean? Yep. So I decided I'm going to open the package. So, so y'all can see, because I thought y'all was like, what, what is she sending you? Yeah. Going to open up the package right here. I was like, ooh. <laughs> and what's crazy, I have moved a million times. I don't want to rip the card. All right. <laughs> so, so let me give y'all a preview of what's, what you probably are going to say. I keep trying to fix this, uh, this, this camera because I'm standing up, as y'all can see. So when Mary Lou sends me these packages, what it is is that she sends them once a year. And what's in the package is she covers every holiday. <laughs> including my birthday and so it's like the care I call it a season a care package of seasons I guess that's some corny crap I just made up so I just opened up the card let's see what it says and <laughs> so y'all seen how I spell my name Shania right from the time I met this lady <laughs> Mary Lou she would spell my name. She knows my name is Shania. She, she can pronounce it, but she always spells it with the E. She'll say S-H-O-N-Y-E. So it's Shania. Shania, wishing you every happiness this Christmas and throughout the year. Mary Lou. Mind you, I just got this package like a couple of days ago, but I was so busy. Okay, and here comes the goodies. Oh, wait a minute. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I mean, she not cheap neither. She packed this thing up to the brim. It be it be stuff that she collects. And she knows I like. <laughs> and I am a big kid, and you guys are probably about to find out. Ooh, oh, 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 yeah, Mary. No, you didn't, girl, lady. I can't even say girl. <laughs> Mary's older than me. Mary sent me some tasty cakes. Tasty cakes. She sent me. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Okay. Linda is like licking the phone right now. I promise you are her screen. Is she watching this? Anybody from the East Coast. And you need to be in the tri-state area. Tri-state area on the East Coast from where I'm from. You So you got Philly, Jersey. Well, let's just say Pennsylvania, Jersey, Delaware. And Maryland, I know it says try, but that's pretty much it. Everybody know what tasty cakes are. What? Ooh, and these butterscotch crimpets. 
Oh, see, y'all don't understand because I can't get this in Texas. And if they do, if you do find a Tasty Cake in Texas, it's stale. Because Tasty Cake's factory is in Pennsylvania, a couple blocks away from Philadelphia Airport. Mary. Mary, you know I've been losing weight, so I had to really, I'm going to have to put this somewhere and make somebody be the keeper of it. That was the first thing I saw. Whoa. Woo! This, this is going to be a good package, y'all. Okay, so it'd be little things like this. So let's just rip it open. This is, oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Mary Lou. Mary Lou. You know what? Hold on, because this is getting real. Wait a minute. Let me adjust this camera. Okay, I had to go get the chair to sit down. And what I want to do, because I really want everybody to see this up close. I'm going to put the box over here. And take the stuff out. Take the stuff out. As and then I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so <laughs> look. What? Do you so did y'all understand what this is? So I am a sock fanatic. I'm a sock fanatic. Um, my god child, my god woman child, Katie. <laughs> Nolan, she's a sock fanatic. We love to get socks. Look at this. Katie, eat your heart out, girl. Look at this. And Katie, these ain't no regular socks. These things are nice and thick. You know why? Look. <laughs> Look at the bottom, y'all. It got the, you see, it got the rubber marks. So, and it's thick. Oh, it's super thick. So it's like, oh, they plush. And if for any of y'all who don't know, everybody should know that these are the night, the nightmare before Christmas, which is, it's the coolest movie ever because when it first came out, you didn't know how to treat it. It's like Halloween and a Christmas movie. So I, I have the DVD, so I'll pop it in during Halloween and Christmas. Yes, I will. Ah. Oh, these things are thick. I hope my fat legs can fit in there. If not, it looks like I'll be sending it to my godchild just in case. Sorry, Mary. <laughs> I think, I think I'll be okay. They feel like they expand. Let's see what the next package is. My, my, my. Like, as if we don't know, this is probably Christmas. Look at that, you know? Let's see what she gets. history i used to collect pez i was the biggest pez collector right at one point i had had a collection of 183 183 pez they were like the cheap ones you know that you see on the end caps in the supermarket then it was like you know collector items it was all kinds of pez i used to and I told Mary, I said, I was trying to like, cause she always sends me pets. And I was like, Mary, I kind of stopped collecting them because you know, I didn't have like the proper showcase. Some of them, um, yeah, I have. And some of them, I don't, I had to downsize, but there's no way I'm downsizing this one. Look at this. What? Can y'all see that? Oh, let me, let me make sure I got the right light. Do y'all see? This is The Office, the TV show The Office. Pest Collection, look, it comes in a metal lunchbox. What? Uh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mary! Ooh, and then I like the, you know, like it's Christmas time right now, you know? Mary, Mary, Mary. You off to a banging start, Mary. Okay, and y'all should see this box. I mean, it's just the present just going on and on. She she wraps all of these individually. Look, I open this. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Okay, I gotta love it. It is a needlepoint that's framed, and it says what? Can y'all see that? Oh, there we go. Delaware. Look, needlepoint. Mary, did you do this? Did you start taking up needlepoint? This 
is nice. Look at the embroidery on it. Look at the little rooster. Aww. Delaware. She always makes sure, because she's like, I don't care where you go, pretty much. It's like, you ain't gonna never forget that you came from Delaware. I mean, that's not my origin, but that's where I met Mary. Thank you. Oh, what else we got? Oh, look. And there'd be multiple cards in here. Multiple. I already said Merry Christmas. So now we got... <laughs> Let the eat your heart out. Happy birthday. <laughs> Don't look at my nails, y'all. I didn't do my nails. Look at that. And look, look, if you turn the card to the side, you see it's like 3D. Like, they're like 3D. Oh, isn't that cute? Because Linda loves Snoopy. That's who she really loves. But I just like the peanuts. Happy birthday. Look at Snoopy. Let's see. Sean Yay. Hope your day is filled with every happy thing. Love, Mary. And my birthday was back in, in January. But like I said, this is the all year long seasonal care package. So everything's coming out. So yay. I'm putting it up on my mantle. Hey, whatever. You know, I don't care that my birthday been passed. The fact is, I made it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mary, did you not see the video while I was talking about my health? <laughs> what the? Tasty cakes. Uh, tasty cakes. These are candy cakes. Mm, if you don't know. Okay, so remember what I said. Here's the crimpets. That's butterscotch. So think of like a yellow cake, right? But with butterscotch icing on the top. Candy cakes, if you don't know. Oops, yeah, yeah, whatever. Right there. You know what this is? It is cakes, little cakes, like think of yellow cake. Uh, cakes with chocolate flavor coating, I <laughs> said flavor coating, and peanut butter filling. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh! <laughs> Mary! Oh, Mary! <laughs> Thank you. I am really trying to maintain. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look, this is a big one. What does this say? <laughs> Happy birthday! So this is the birthday gift. <laughs> Fragile. <laughs> okay, what is this? Ooh. Let's see. And I'm telling you, I, let me tell you, sometimes the boxes are way bigger. Like, I got to get help, you know, like they're big. Um, but I noticed that it never mattered how big or small. It seemed like it, even a box that size, like she packs that box to the brim. Mary, I hope there's nothing creepy in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I already know what it is. It's some kind of mug. Cause she knows I collect mugs. What? <gasps> oh. Side by side, miles apart. Friends are always close to the heart. Shania and Mary Lou. See? Side by side. <laughs> and then that's Delaware. That is the shape of Delaware. And then she put our names, Shania and Mary Lou. And then she got Texas. See? She's saying that all, no matter, um, <laughs> wait, wait, what, what? <sighs> okay. I had to get myself together because that was unexpected. Mary, thank you. Thank you. And she actually spelled, she still spelled 
Sean Ye on there, if you can see it. You see, <laughs> it was with an E. She had this mug custom made. Mary, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't y'all be looking at me with the tears and be like, oh, she, she a punk, she softy. <laughs> I was not expecting that, Mary. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 So I think that's all that was in here. Oh my God. <laughs> I probably could just smear my makeup because I'm done. <laughs> I ain't going back out for the day. Oh, Mary, you got me. You got me good. You got me good. <laughs> Mary. I still have a rock in my throat, so trying to get myself together here. What time is that say? Okay, I just want to make sure. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so from time to time, Mary Lou has gotten me things. I think every year I get something with a shoe. It could be a keychain, it could be a magnet, it could be a little fancy box with a high heel shoe. And she got me. <laughs> it's a stapler. Can y'all see? <laughs> it's a stapler. This camera is really, this video might seriously be crooked, but <laughs> sorry. It's a stapler. Calling all fashionistas. Dress up your desktop with the swing line high heel stapler. Whether at home or in the office, this stylish desktop accessory will demand the same attention as any trendy wardrobe accessory. What? Yes! Now, Mary, so that you... <laughs> So that you're aware, on my desk at work, I have a Philadelphia Eagles, you know, stapler, trying to irritate all the little cowboy fans down here. And I work with a New York Giant fan. But I side with the New York Giant just so we can go against the Cowboys. But anyway, mm -mm. I'm not, I'm putting this at work too. And people like to, because they don't want to give supplies out. So if I see somebody... I, you know, I will be really mean and snatch it off somebody's desk. Like, don't try, don't try to front. Ooh, I used to be able to wear high heels, but man, when you start gaining weight, boy, my ankles be screaming for mercy now. <laughs> if I try to put on a high heel with this weight, Ooh. okay. Here's something else. I know y'all probably like. You want to open up the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> You can pause the video and go get yourself some popcorn, coffee, tea, something. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, and it's just little knickknacks. Oh, it's a Christmas ornament and it's a dove full of peace. What does it say? Joy. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Something. Every little boy and girl. I don't know. I started making up my own lyrics. What? Mary? It's like you, you, you inside my head or you got a camera set up in here because when I left my home, um, when I sold my last house, I made a mistake. I told y'all in the Christmas video, I made a mistake and left all the Christmas decorations up in the attic. I don't know how I missed that. So I'm starting from scratch. And you probably saw my tree and you was like, that y'all need some Christmas ornaments. Yay! Joy, peace, dove, Jesus. For the Christmas. Yeah. What else we got? I know y'all probably like, that box wasn't that big. Y'all have no idea. Mary can fit some stuff in the box. What's this? This table look a mess, y'all. It looked like Christmas Day up in here. Yeah. <laughs> I just told y'all the story of the shoes. So Mary also knows that I like 
I like anything from the Victorian um, period, like, uh, I don't know. I guess that's a Victorian period. Like, if you've ever seen the movie Age of Innocence or Dangerous Liaisons, you know, with Michelle Pfeiffer and um, Glenn Close or whatever, Uma Thurman, Keanu Reeves, it was an all-star cast. Yes, I am all about that life. Okay, for if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Downton Abbey, when it first started. You see, those women wore these kind of shoes. Y'all see that? Yeah. I love stuff like that. You know, it's very, can y'all see that? Uh, very vintagey, something like that. Oh, so yeah, I will put this near my tea set. It's a shoe. Yep. And I did not clean off my table because y'all did not see this table. This table has tons of yarn projects. I'm supposed to be working on, but I was like, what? Eh. What'd she say? Happy Halloween! <laughs> so we already saw one thing she opened. That's what she wrote on the packet, on the on the uh the thing. <laughs> I already know. I, I'm telling you, I got a ton of socks. These are like little anklet socks. Katie, eat your heart out. Eat your heart out. Little anklet socks. Yes. And I do. Anil will tell you, my, my friend Anil that's here, when he comes to visit, he be looking like, what do you got on your feet? Because <laughs> I wear some crazy socks. I hope I didn't have a bat in the cave because <laughs> I was starting to cry now. I feel like I have a bat in the cave. <laughs> it's another Christmas ornament. Oh, well, she looks like she got on a wedding dress, but it's an angel. Look at that. Look at the detail in her dress. Can y'all see that? Oh. It's like a little lace dress. Another Christmas ornament. Thank you, Mary. Because I'm telling y'all, that tree was butt naked. When y'all saw me with the tree, remember? If you forgot, just go back and look at my Christmas thrifty shopping uh, video. Thank you, Mary. Let's see. I mean, it's, every time I think I'm getting to the bottom of the box, it's like magic. That's she. Her boxes are magic because I'll be like, yeah, this is probably the last one. And you just keep putting your hand in the box and stuff just keep coming out. I, I, I'm telling Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Katie, my godchild, woman, woman godchild, do not even think. Don't come for me in my socks. Girl, look at that. Money on my mind. <laughs> money on my mind. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> what? These and Katie, these things are super soft, super plush. Woo! I am racking it up, racking it up. Oh man, I'm nervous, y'all. I hope my little fat calves, you know, I don't know. Let me see. Let me make sure it has some elasticity to it. Ooh, this might be tight. <laughs> Look, what's going to happen to this? I'll be able to get it on, but instead of it going up my leg. <laughs> well, actually, now I look at it, the foot is right there. So let's put it like this. So if my foot, okay. So it might just come to where I need it to come to, where my leg can't. No more my leg can, I was looking at the camera, no more my leg can fit in here. So this might work. This might work. I mean, I am losing inches. They just not coming off my calves right now, but it'll get there. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm almost there. What does this say? Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> what is what is that? This is what I'm talking about. 
Mary loves history, okay? If you're saying, hey, we're going to the Alamo, she's there. We're going to, what's the place that she always used to like? What's that, Harrisburg, Virginia, Mary? <laughs> she done been in them places a million times. She probably been to the actual, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Mary took a trip across the Delaware River in the actual boat that George Washington was in. I'm telling you, she is a history buff. And I am too. She's more into American history. Like she knows everything about Gettysburg, you know, civil wars. She, you can't, you're not, if you're going to play trivia pursuit against her, you're not going to win. <laughs> Cause you see, look, she got, you see that guy is an old soldier. Yeah. This, this is what I'm talking about. This is why these packages are so, wait a minute. And I feel like I got a bat in the cave. Hold on. Okay, because I, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't grossing y'all out. Yes. So it just be like little stuff like this, right? Like, because <laughs> she knows I'm a big kid. And I'd be like, ooh, ooh. And I will. I will sit at my desk like this when I'm supposed to be listening in a meeting. I'll be like, do, 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 do. And then people be like, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and, and I'm taking that little man and putting him on my desk at work. Just the ear. <laughs> That's what Because every holiday I get a sock. Look at that. It's a ladies Valentine Day sock. Let's open it up. See that? <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, they, they had these things real tight. Like, they did not want nobody to steal these out the store. <laughs> you was going to have to take the whole thing. Oh, jeez. I mean, you see, they, they really got... Oh, I really got to get to the bottom of this. Okay, Shine, don't get excited and cut the fabric. Just take your time. Hold on, y'all. Oh, they got another one. Jeez. Boop. Oh, no, wait. Boop. <laughs> oh, oh, it's two pairs. Look. Pink with hearts. Socks. Katie. Nope. <laughs> if Katie lived with me or we live near each other. Oh my God. <laughs> she probably would steal my socks, but these socks are too cute. It's two avocados cuddling. And guess what they said to each other? Can y'all see that? Y'all probably can't because of that glare. Let's have a cuddle. <laughs> Let's have a cuddle. Isn't that cute? I know what you're thinking, Anil, because you like, how come when I say stuff like that, you be sitting there like, corny. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is too, look at that. I had to tilt it. So y'all say, Let's have a cuddle. I love avocados. Let's have a cuddle. I'm going to have to put one of these pairs on when it's time for me to get out my work clothes. We getting there, y'all. Oh, I already know. Every year, I get this, too. Because <laughs> she knows. I am a hobby person. This table is mounting up high. Oh, my goodness. And Gettys Puzzle. Look at that baby. Yeah, yeah, baby. Oh, hi, Dinky Vaughn. Oh, hi, Kitty. Thousand pieces. I'll be like, I just, uh, yep. Mary knows I like puzzles. Every year I get a puzzle. I do. Thank you, Mary. Oh, finally. I think this is it, y'all. The grand finale. I can already tell what it is. I can feel it. This is it. The last present. And if it's not what I think it is, I'll be surprised. But it is. I just don't know what kind it is. Mary always knows that I like books. The Weekend Makeover. It's a book. 
Look, I, I do like that. The Weekend Makeover. It says, The Weekend Makeover. Get a brand new life by Monday morning. <laughs> really? Let me see. Hold on. Change your life in just 48 hours. Mary, <laughs> where'd you get this from? It says, I'll start on Monday. We've all said it and we know. You're, oh, you know what? This might be something good for me maybe to read. Oh, I might have to do a whole entire segment, read a little chapter once a week. Chapter one, the diet makeover. Do you wish you could lose those last five pounds? Hell yeah. <laughs> I wish I could lose the last five pounds over the past, uh, you know, 30, 40 years. <laughs> Do you wish your kids ate healthier foods? I don't have. Ruby eats healthy. She's rabid. Are you overwhelmed by the terms gluten-free, organic, and cholesterol-free? No, sir, because I do believe in eating gluten-free and try to eat organic. Whatever your reasons for wanting to make a change, we could all use an overhaul in the diet department. I'm, you know, and hey, I'm going to tell you all right now, I'm not offended. I'm not offended at this book. She know. Oh, oh, and they got little recipes in here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, workout makeover. Mary. And let me tell you something. I like books. I don't like that Kindle crap or whatever. I mean, I'll read something like I read the Bible app, but even with the Bible app, I need to open up a book mm, with pages. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, I love the way the pages feel. It's a part of like, remember, I mean, does anybody even still go to the library? I love books. My friend Anil was just like, you don't read? I ain't never seen you read a book in your life. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I, okay, I'm not the reader I used to be, but I, I do read at least one book a year. I'm talking about like a novel or something, right? I mean, I, I think I read, shoot, reading the Bible, that is. You know how many books is in the Bible? <laughs> yes. And that is all, folks. That's it. That is it. Mary, I love you. Thank you. Not because you send me care packages. It's because like I told the story in the beginning, you have always been there for me. Always been there for me. And I, again, I, I never knew why you took a liking to me, but you did. And you, when everyone else, and you know, you know, I know that I was rough around the edges, <laughs> you know, but you saw something in me and you help. It's like my dad had definitely got me to a point before, you know, I went out on my own and Mary Lou, you, you jumped back in and then you filled in some pieces, you know, you, man, there were things that you exposed me to and even when you could tell that I had a closed mind, it, it whatever you said, I, I told my dad this too, Mary. You may have been looking at me like this girl ain't she ain't paying attention. But yeah, Mary, I paid attention. I paid attention. And the things that you introduced me to life, I'm telling you, there are elements of you in my hobbies, in my my lifestyle, the way I think. There are elements of you. Yep, ingrained in me. And that mug, you got me. I can't believe that I was crying on camera. Boo-hoo, snotting all over the place. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, as always. So that's it, everyone. And uh I might show y'all a picture. I'm going to ask Mary Lou's permission first. It was a picture that she gave me on my 29th birthday um, before I had left Delaware. And it was like she had this picture. And it was basically, it was like the last group of girls that I lived with in that house, I believe. Yeah. And they all came out for my 29th 
a birthday at the Airport Transit Command Center in Delaware. <laughs> yup, and she took that picture. Somebody took the picture of us, and it's all of us together. Everybody who had roomed in that house, and she framed it in this beautiful, it's like a black leather frame. And um, if she gives me permission, then the next time I will show y'all. Yup. So anyway, thank y'all for watching. I just wanted to open up the present and share this moment, but thank you for watching. And remember what I said is so important. You know, if, if someone cares for you and they reach out and they just like, you have to remember God made all of us <clears throat> to help each other and to be kind to one another. And when he was doing that, he didn't say, well, I'm only going to design like these people can only show love within their race or within their own religion. He, he didn't, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. And that wasn't his intention. Right. Could you imagine? And I, I'm going to leave y'all with this thought because what if God said, I can only love other Supreme beings if there are any other, you know? What if he said that? Like, no, I can't take your love because you're not a supreme being, you're not a God, you know? Even though he says, I'm the one true God. You you have to think, like he was just like, nope. Love is love. And like I said before, in my other video yesterday, the world is, is, is getting harder every day. And let me tell you, Mary, Lou has, I mean, her heart just overflows with love because she, it, this is somebody who I don't talk to on the phone. You know, months pass. We, we text each other here and there, but it's like when I'm even texting her, when I do hear her voice, it's like we never missed a heartbeat. It was never awkward. And she's not, she's not a... She's not an emotional person like, oh, come here, baby. Let me give you a kiss. Mm -mm. She, Mary kind of shows tough love, but um, I like her spunk. And remember, that's the other thing, too, because you got people that mm, and, and whine and, die, mm, and love all on you because they mushy. But then their actions don't show it. Her actions show it, not because of the care packages, because I, the stories that I told you, and there were plenty more where that lady has been there. I, I swear, I swear, I would not be surprised if I make it to heaven and then God shows me who my guardian angels was and it, and it turns out to be her. I would not be surprised. I'd be like, whoa, you were assigned to me. I would say that yeah, I know, I know, I'm getting off track. But anyway, again, that's something for you guys to think about. Um, stay tuned. I really hope that I can get out a Stitch tutorial this week. But yeah, I'm going to try my best. And uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. If you are not subscribed to the channel and you stumbled upon this and you actually stuck around to watch me do this, <laughs> think about subscribing, okay? So everybody, peace. Love and soul. <laughs> Good night, folks. Be blessed.